a few years back when the GoPro Hero 5 came out, I bought one and I used it for the first time on a trip in Spain. But after seeing how shaky the video was coming out of that camera, I realized it's not usable unless you use it on a tripod or use a stabilizer with it. Now, I still don't have a stabilizer and I still have the GoPro. However, I have a DJI Osmo Mobile and I've tried this, which I bought from eBay, and it turned out to be useless because first of all, it doesn't stay very well in the clamp and also it's very hard to balance. So, I came up with an idea to mount the GoPro on the DJI Osmo Mobile using only weights. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I've done it. First thing I'm gonna do, turn the clamp so it's in vertical position. And the other thing I tend to do is put some scotch tape on the interior back side of the clamp. So only the exterior side of the clamp uh, moves. And that allows me to use a smaller weight to, to balance it. Okay, now once that's done, you can put the GoPro in and you can start adding your weights to the GoPro. Um, I got these weights off eBay, they're inexpensive, they're one pound something. And they're called wheel balancing, wheel balancing weights, sorry. They, um, uh, they come with double sided tape on the back. So you will need two 10 grams for the back and one five grams for the side. The 10 grams go on the knob and the five grams go on the side of the clamp, exterior side of the clamp. So you can see this axis is already done. And then the five grams. If you need uh, to adjust it further, you can adjust it from the arm adjustment. I don't need to. My one is just fine. So I'm going to turn it on, and also I'm going to show you some uh, comparison um, from the video shot using the DJI Mobile and the handheld. See the difference. The other thing I do is uh, secure the uh, GoPro around the clamp with either a rubber band or some scotch tape just to make sure the GoPro won't fall off if I'm shaking it too hard or something. Uh, so as you can see in the video on the left, it's very, very smooth. And on the right hand side is quite shaky. You can you can see the difference. Now the only trade-off I would say uh, you get by uh, using the DJI Osmo Mobile on the GoPro is some weird sounds because I don't know where the microphone is placed exactly, but when you put it in the clamp the microphone will catch the sounds the motors make when they try to balance the gimbal uh, this is another video i shot so you can see it's very smooth very nice he wouldn't get that without using a gimbal right if you guys like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one